Surprised by a pair of roguish eyes, in a moment my poor heart was stole away, away. A smile. A smile was all she gave to me. La 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 la. Of course it made me happy as could be. La 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 la. around the world that we took the time and found the perfect location to bring a window to honor Buzz right here. It's going to be fabulous. So Main Street is home to many iconic attractions, many iconic uh, eateries, dining areas, and of course our characters. But as I think all of you know, it is also home to the place where we pay tribute to all those people who have done uh, the utmost across their careers to uh, help the Disney company and contribute just immeasurable uh, efforts to us here. Dedicating a window on Main Street is our way of paying permanent tribute to those folks and to really honor the creativity, dedication, and expertise that have made the parks what they are today. I'm very pleased right now to welcome the chairman of Disney Parks and Resorts to spend a little bit of time with you and talk about uh, some of the efforts that Buzz made to Disney throughout its career. Would you please join me and welcome Tom Staggs. Oh, I'm sitting on top of the world. Absolutely uh, the case. Uh, as we're here to pay tribute to Harrison Buzz Price by honoring him with this window on Main Street, um, it's fitting uh, that we do so because uh, Buzz was a true Disney pioneer in every sense of the word. He made a significant contribution to literally every iconic project that so established Disney Parks and Resorts as a, a one of a kind, one of a kind organization and created those one-of-a-kind places that so many families have enjoyed. His legacy is tied to the most fundamental aspect of real estate, which of course is location, location, location. Walt had this vision for this great park that he wanted to create, but what he didn't have was a perfect place. Some of you who are Disney aficionados know that originally he had been thinking about a spot up near where the Disney Studios are in Burbank. That wouldn't have been as good. But uh, he, came to, he came to Buzz and uh, said that he wanted him to find the most viable, special place to build Disneyland. And Buzz asked him, well, is there one place in particular to prefer? And, he, and Walt said, absolutely not. You tell me where the absolute best location would be. 
And so that simple conversation in about 1953 ultimately led to us being able to stand here today in what was 160 acres of orange groves. And over two years, they transformed it into this magical place that for nearly 60 years has entertained so many families from around the world over uh, just literally generations. So now building on the success of Disneyland, Walt's dream grew even bigger. You know how the story goes already, don't you? But he decided that uh, with Roy, they called on Buzz to uh, find a place that they could locate their new mysterious Project X. The code name they used for the development of Walt Disney World, of course, and, and Buzz uh, pulled together some of the team, and after many, many hours of research that literally spanned the country, they identified uh, a modest 46 square miles in Florida. <laughs> and the rest, of course, is history. And Buzz went on to play uh, important roles in many, many other uh, important Disney projects, including the development of Tokyo Disney Resort. And actually, next week, I'll be there to celebrate the 30th anniversary of that park. Uh, so it's kind of amazing the impact that Buzz had on our entire organization and Disney parks. And you think about what that conversation back in the early 50s led to in terms of the joy and delight that has been provided to so many families. And it's pretty awe-inspiring. And um, so uh, you can see why we're so excited to honor Buzz um, with really the, the highest honor that we can bestow here at Disney Parks and Resorts. Buzz's per career was absolutely inspirational, um, but it was also aspirational. Uh, before he passed away in 2010, he became a, a mentor to hundreds, probably thousands, of Disney cast members. And so I am fond of talking about how the, one of the greatest strengths of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts is its people. And, and Buzz Price uh, was there for the genesis of that culture and that organization as well. And so his impact is felt not just in the place that you see when you visit Disneyland or Walt Disney World or Tokyo Disneyland, but it's in the people you meet and the way that this organization operates every single day. And so um, it really is a great honor and a privilege to honor Buzz today. And I think it's time that we reveal Buzz's window. For, but first, I think we need a little extra help because it feels like something's missing. I've got Michael, Mikey, but I need Mickey. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Mickey Mouse. say no, yes makes more sense. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a really special treat today uh, joining us and speaking on behalf of the whole Price family. Please welcome Buzz's son, David Price. siblings and our families along with friends and colleagues are here in full force 
be assured that Buzz and Annie are at the other end of Main Street cheering us on. On behalf of my wife, Alicia, and I, my brother, Brett, and his wife, Lynn, my sister, Dana, and my sister, Holly, and her husband, Al, along with our children, our close friends, we want to extend our gratitude to the Walt Disney Company, Walt Disney Imagineering, and Disneyland for or organizing this very special event. I also want to thank an amazing bunch of Disney volunteers and enthusiasts that have embraced this dedication, as well as the many community causes that they support. Dad would be grinning ear to ear about his window dedication, honoring his role in the creation of Disneyland. The creative work leading to the opening of Disneyland was truly a transformational moment. Buzz often said that he was just incredibly lucky to be around for it. That's an easy truth, but it hardly explains the how and the why of it. Simply put, Buzz was the right man at the right time. His special brand of humor, his wit, his passion, and intelligence resonated with two brothers who would launch a revolution in family entertainment and destination attractions. Buzz's yes-if approach to creative thinking allowed Walt and Roy to move forward with their ideas in a manner that changed our world. His yes-if approach was also essential for giving direction and balance to a dynamic and creative attractions industry inspired by the vision and the success of Walt Disney. Where did Buzz's yes-if approach spring from? He most certainly understood it it's it understood its practical dimensions. But he also appreciated its application when you're surrounded by creative thinkers and visionaries. His yes-if approach stands as a golden rule for creative thinking and problem solving in a complex world that we all live in. While Buzz could drill down with numbers with a focus that bordered on obsession, he also knew how to translate numbers and economic data into a meaningful and easily understood set of terms. This yes-if approach, combined with his, his intelligence, his common sense and experience, enabled him to mathematically quantify for investors, creators, and operators the meaningful business investment opportunity. That sounds like him. Used to guide the development of Disneyland, Disney World, and other theme parks, and wide-ranging cultural, education, and sports-related projects. It all began right here in Anaheim, the city that Buzz rec recommended as the best location for Walt's new park. With Walt's encouragement, Buzz also met with Gene Autry with the purpose of bringing the Angels to Anaheim. It was a new era for Orange County and the dawn of an exciting and robust creative economy driven by the arts, design, and entertainment. Today, the creative economy ranks fourth out of 66 industry clusters in greater Los Angeles, supporting one in eight jobs in the region in 2011, supporting Today, the creative economy has a total regional output of $230 billion in revenue annually. With Disneyland a success, Walt Roy asked Buzz to study locations in Florida for another park, and in 63, Buzz recommended the Orlando area. These are some of the reasons Dad was named a Disney legend, and why the Themed Entertainment Association honored Buzz as the first recipient of the industry's Lifetime Achievement Award, which just two years ago was renamed the Buzz Price Award for Lifetime Achievement by the TEA. Towards the end of Walt's life, he be, again asked Buzz to take over the special task of completing his vision for a multidisciplined, 
Visual Performing Arts School, California Institute of the Arts. Opening in 1961, CalArts has emerged as one of the nation's top educational institutions directed solely at training and cultivating the next generation of creative thinkers, designers, and artists in the creative economy. So what was it like living with a legend at home? When you're close to it, it's hard to see. I began to understand more fully the dimension of the man when I started working with him in my early 30s. That's when I met the mentor, the colleague, the collaborator, the teacher. He could stop you in your tracks with his penetrating questions, split your guts with humor, and entertain anyone within hearing range with his one-liners. As small children growing up in Los Angeles, we had no way of knowing that Dad's home office next to our game room would be the place where his early work for Walt and Roy began. I remember clearly his well-organized assortment of three-ring binders, a readily available slide rule, stacks of neatly piled papers and maps, and how each of us took turns sharpening pencils. What is warmly remembered, too, is the Price children receiving each Christmas a large wrap box from Walt filled with an assortment of Christmas to Disney toys. It was a child's fantasy. It would have been a treasure trove for a collector had they not disappeared as children's toys often do. Someone ought to make a movie of that. As children, we turned our front yard into CECs, a children's entertainment center with miniature golf courses, games of chance, and lemonade stands. All of the kids in the neighborhood joined in. It became our fantasy land. Later on, when Walt and Roy started looking at the prospect for a year-round world-class alpine resort in Mineral King, California, Buzz conducted a study of its recreation potentials, and the family picked up skiing as the go-to choice for our holidays and family time. In later years, my siblings and I each found our path into the arts. My brother Brett as a successful sculptor, my twin sister Dana as an artist, my sister Holly as a professional choral singer, and myself as an architect and planner in the attractions industry. We were all encouraged by two amazing parents who modeled for us the adventure that comes when you engage life. Dad always gave Mom the credit. Others might say, behind every great man is a great woman. Bottom line, Dad led the way. The joy lives on, as it does each day for thousands of guests walking down Main Street, Disneyland. Dad's new window looks out, a testament to his life and the impact that he made. Our family, along with our children, grandchildren, future family members, and his many friends and colleagues can now walk by and shout with joy, thank you, Buzz. I'm going to Disneyland. chance to meet a little bit this morning beforehand and uh, shared in addition to these words uh, just what a wonderful father, husband, I'm sure grandfather Buzz was. And so for all the family who's here today, I just want to thank you for sharing kind of your father, your grandfather uh, with us. What a special person and uh, we couldn't be more proud to have him and have him honored here today. So as a reminder of our ongoing appreciation of Buzz and uh, all these fun streamers. Uh, uh, David, we would like to, if I'll have you step right over here with Mickey, uh, we'd like to present you on uh, behalf of the Walt Disney Company uh, with a replica of Buzz's window, and we hope uh, it gives you guys the warm memories that we will always have of him uh, every time we come by here today. So, could we please? 
Disney and Buzz Price. I didn't know you got all those Christmas presents too. Uh, uh, following an example of their collaboration, may all of us strive to do our best, to continue to help one another, and together keep discovering the good fortune that's always just around the corner. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, aren't you lost with me now? That's my own word. Oh, aren't you lost with me? Might never feel alone. We're around the corner. Fortune's waiting, just wait and see. Fortuosity is lucky chances. Fortune wishes little happy happen senses. I keep smiling, cause my philosophy is do your best and leave the rest to fortuosity. Fortuosity. Thank you everyone for coming, especially to the family here, and I hope you continue to have just a fabulous day on this beautiful California morning. Thanks very much.